Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy Handyman, and we're out looking at a rental property today uh, that unfortunately has just been let go a little bit. It's It doesn't take long. This is a manufactured siding. Um, this looks like a masonite type siding, which basically is cardboard. And so if you don't keep it caulked up and you don't keep it painted right, it's just gonna rot it right out. And so on the front of the house, what's been going on is, and that's what's hard with rentals, is you gotta get out and see them at least twice a year. Make sure these gutters are cleaned and make sure the tenant's kids haven't ridden over the downspouts or stepped on them and crushed them. Both the downspouts on this left side of the house are completely clogged. So all the water, every time it rains, it comes off this valley right here, in this area right here. All that water's cascading down the front and the side of this house. The whole left side, 90% of that siding needs to be replaced right now. So it's gonna be better off for this owner. If she has to do it in stages, we can do the chimney first and then come back and do the rest of the left side or however they wanna break it out. But these gutters need to be fixed. We'll come back with a hardy plank siding here. On the front of the house, most of it's in good shape. With masonite siding, if you come in, you caulk it and you hand paint it so you're sealing the bottom edges and the top edge with a good quality paint like uh, Sherwin-Williams Duration, you can salvage the siding. So she doesn't have to replace all of this siding. She's got six rows underneath these windows right here that are rotted through. And you can kind of see some of it. Um, you know, we get a little closer here in the, in the front of the house. So all six rows of this siding. And what happens is, because the painters didn't get a good layer of paint in this bead, we call this a bead right here, this bevel, it starts to rot right here. So you can see where my finger can just pull it apart now. And you can basically see the cardboard underneath it. See, you hate to see it that way, but that's really what it is. On some of these other bottom edges, when we hit it with a paintbrush, it'll seal it up. Now she may have to come back over time, replace a piece or two here or there. But if you hand paint and you do a good job, Hand painted house, the job's gonna last at least 10 years. Just the way it is. But you can see here on this side, the painters never caulked anything at all, hardly just the joints, the butt joints where two pieces come together. See these holes right here? The nail didn't move, the siding moved. And it just swelled because they never caulked any of this stuff. So a lot of this siding, you can see it down at the bottom, it's just rotted and it catches the water on the end so it's soft. There's a few boards here and there that are still salvageable on this side. But as you go up the bottom edges, you can see how rough they are. And the, a great test for your siding is to stand at the side and look for the variation in the thickness. See how it gets thick and then thin and then thick again, all the way through these bottom edges? That just lets you know it's swelled and it's shot. So when you see six or seven distinct lines in the bottom of the siding, it's garbage. And you can obviously see the chimney's been shot for a few years now, and the woodpeckers are in it. You can see the wrinkling of all the trim boards are rotted out. And again, this stuff starts to go bad because it's not caulked properly. It's really what happens. Um, so we would start with the chimney or the whole left side. The back side of the house is in pretty decent shape, surprisingly. Same thing, see this downspout right here? Completely clogged. So all the waters run down this side of the house and just rotted the siding out. The gutters have stuff growing out the back. So I mean, these gutters haven't been cleaned at least a couple years. The back of the house right here, it's mostly the lower six boards. The rest of it, see how nice and tight the bottom edges are? So if we came in here and, and caulked it and hand painted it, that siding would be all right. If you spray paint it, it it's, it's not gonna do much. Make it look pretty, but it doesn't really seal the siding. And then when you pull back off of here, the neighbor's got the same issue, but see all the plants and stuff growing in there? That gutter hasn't been cleaned in forever and it's starting to rust through now. It's a galvanized gutter, so that's probably gonna need to be replaced in the next year or two anyway. But for now, we can clean it. We try to minimize expense for people. I'm an investor too, I own lots of investment properties. I've flipped tons of houses. Maintenance is key in getting people on site twice a year to look at your property, even if it's just cleaning the gutters. So you get some eyes that can take a look at the property and catch things before it gets expensive. This one's been declining for a while. And so we're happy to help this homeowner out and get it turned around. It's what we do. It's me and my brother, a group of 15 guys. We run all over Metro Atlanta doing this stuff. We've been out here for years. A pretty straightforward project. Pretty much do everything. You can reach us at 770-912-2829. I'm Andy. See you at the next house. Bye for now.